How's it going guys? Hope y'all are doing great. This is Evlog coming to you live and welcome back on another episode on My Hero Academia Season 6, Episode 20, Episode 133 on My Hero Academia. Now on the previous episode, after speaking with his previous predecessors, after speaking with the previous One For All users, Deku has now been able to use 45% of his max power. And you know what though? He looks damn good doing it with confidence oozing out of him. Without further ado, let's check out the next episode and see what took place. For some reason, I feel like this episode is going to be good. So to prevent casualties, Deku had to leave UA and he has formed quite a formidable, or let me say a good lineup of um, team. You have Endeavor, you have All Might, you have Beast Genius and Hawk, I believe, right? We're going to see what this team up is going to do. But I feel like at some point Bakugo and Shoot will be joining them at some point. Because um, after all that teamwork, after all that tutoring, after all that uh, teaching Endeavor gave them, gave Midoriya, Shoot and Bakugo. I'm actually looking forward to see when they're going to have some type of a trio uh, team up right here. Because uh, when they fought Tomura Shigaraki, we didn't really get to see the trio really utilize what they have learned thus far, right? So I'm hoping that at some point we're going to get it right here on this uh, Dark Deku arc. I believe I said this before uh, in my opening, but Deku does look badass, man. You know, he no longer has uh, 
you know, like let's just say that his confidence is way up than before. You know what I mean? His confidence is up. And at this point, the civilians have taken up arms. They've taken up arms to defend themselves because they no longer trust the heroes to do the right thing. And now I guess the civilians are targeting anyone that has quirk now. Because that little girl they're trying to take down is harmless. Exactly, right? <laughs> Those guys don't play anymore, man. The civilians no longer play. Like, they are really, really there to defend themselves. Oh, she was going to the shelter. Are we ever going to see All Might change back to his hero um, scene or his hero uh, gear? <laughs> That's very nice of All Might, man. Are we ever going to see him change back into his hero's hero gears? And you can hear one of the predecessors are now, or any of the predecessors are now speaking to him at will, which is a good thing. So they are all going to unleash their potentials and give it to Midoriya. I guess this was when they all did it, right? <laughs> I'm looking forward to see what else Midoriya can be able to do, man. I'm serious, I'm looking forward to see what Beku can still do.
Oh, he was the other guy that rescued him. I guess wanted to kill him at some point, but he ended up inheriting the quirk himself. So that's the second one for all user there. The one with the orange hair. Hmm. Doesn't he look like Bakugo? Am I the only one that see that just now? I just noticed it. He kind of looked like Bakugo for some reason. Full power. <laughs> Assassin. What what are these punk think they're doing? They're fighting the number one hero. Are they smoking something? Are they crazy? Ouch. That's gonna leave a mark. Kuza Kenayo. So this car. <laughs> I guess the town has had it with them. This little town no longer trusts them. Shigaraki is coming for you and someone else. End of a. <laughs> They're going. They're going crazy. Yeah, they're even calling them phonies. Well, it's going to take a bit to get them back on the hero side. I I think once all this trouble is over. Oh, they're using Deku to lure League of Villains. They're using him as bait.
Oh, it's it's obvious. Because through Shigaraki's hate, he can tap into that. He can use that to continue to stay in his body. <laughs> yeah, he's always, he's always cunning. They are tracking Deku. Oh, All Might is also tracking him. Ooh. They've lost contact. They've lost contact with Deku. Ooh. Shibata! I guess they are finally here. They have finally shown them shown their faces. And this is happening at night too. It's happening at night. Hmm. She's using pieces of her hair as bullet. Don't tell me that that's the only way they can be able to track Deku. They should have implanted some type of a device on him and not just using his cell phone to track him. Please run as fast as you can. I don't think Deku is running. <laughs> Lady Nagant. Deku is not running. Oh, easy. Ooh. Damn, that bullet traject. It's like a missile. Her bullet has snipe ability. It's like it rejects like a missile. It follows the person that it's been fired up towards to or something.
Oh, I guess Deku is trying to close in on her. But the thing is, she's not alone. Overhaul. <laughs> that guy has been through a lot, huh? You guys remember what they did to him, was it? On the previous season. She's not alone, Deku. How does he know all of this before it even happens? He's already predicting what Deku is going to do before. And he already know, knows who will be following Deku behind to cover him. All for one is he is his intellect is just in another level. He's able to predict what they would do, what you would do before they even do it. Air walk, just like almost like Deku. Oh, this cunning bastard! <laughs> All for one. This cunning bastard. All for one. Can you guys imagine? So he ended up giving her an ability on top of the ability she already has in her arsenal all for one gave her an ability to walk on air just like Deku almost like Deku's ability but Deku is using um it's almost like a, like Spider-Man using the whiplash to fly or to swing all over the place he can also walk in the air actually I think so. Uh, now, this woman, knowing her ability is already dangerous, giving her the ability to walk on air and fly in the air like that, that will make things a little difficult for Deku because he's already in a difficult situation. Now, adding that ability with uh, Lady Nagant, that's going to be troublesome. And I get to say that Deku is going to need all the help he can get right now. Uh, the fact that the others can no longer track his position, uh, it's going to make things a little difficult. But hopefully with the commotion going around, they will be able to track him down. Things are really, really going dark here, man. Next episode, the lovely lady Nagant. <laughs> All right, guys, there you have it. What an interesting episode. Things are really, really going dark here. Like you can see that the emotions 
the position, the, 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 the feel of this anime from the first season up until now has trajected, has shifted to another level. Now, I believe that this arc is called Dark Deku Arc or Deku Dark Arc. Uh, we're now in a position where, you know, it, it, you can feel that things has gone so bad that, you know, it's now killed or be killed. Everyone is trying to survive. UA is in the brink of extinction. UA is in the brink of chaos. And they are doing everything they can to bring this into a conclusion. And Deku has reached the point where he doesn't necessarily need people to follow him all the time. But the team that they have formed are keeping track of him, using him as, as bait. Unfortunately, Lady Nagant has kind of blew that idea up by destroying Deku's, um, uh, um, how do I put it, uh, his um, target or his uh, tracker. So, thanks for joining me on this episode. Refer to share your thoughts. On that note, stay safe. Keep on keeping on. Ha 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 